Hello everybody and welcome to the Simply Substance Painter course. So this is going to be a video course and it's going to consist of a number of different videos. And in this particular video, which is part one, the introduction of the course, here are some of the things that I'm going to be discussing. I'll show you some of my texturing work in Substance Painter for scenes and individual objects. Uh, if you are not new to uh, the Zero Bio YouTube channel, you are going to see a lot of this stuff. You've seen it before and you will see some in the future as I continue to do work on, on YouTube in addition to the Patreon. So I'll show you some of my stuff and some of the stuff that's that's possible if you are you know, a relative beginner in Substance Painter. Um, I'll talk to you about becoming a member of the Zero Bio Patreon and where to find the course videos. I'm going to show you the actual project that we'll be working on throughout this course and towards the end I'll give you an overview of pretty much what we're going to cover in this course. Again, a number of, of videos that will be on the Zero Bio Patreon. So in terms of some of the things I've done, uh, if you've been around the channel, the YouTube channel here for a while, uh, you will have uh, probably seen me model most of this stuff and texture it. So, so what I'm showing here is, is the use of Substance Painter in scenes. So not just individual objects. I'll show you some of those later on. But this, of, these scenes, of course, are, are made up of a number of uh, individual parts that were textured in Substance Painter and then brought back into Blender and uh, rendered in Blender. In terms of individual objects, there's a whole bunch of them that I've done. Here's just a small sampling. So for example, we've got the storage crate over here. You may recall me modeling and texturing that for you. We've got the bulkhead light, the air conditioner from The Last of Us, um, the stained glass window, uh, the globe, the fallout terminal, and this earthworm as well. And there are many other examples uh, of the use of Substance Painter on my channel. So I'm urging you to become a member of the Zero Bio Patreon. The link, of course, is up at the top on all of these slides, www.patreon.com slash zero bio. We're just talking about a few coffees every month going towards your membership, patron membership. There's also free members and uh, I do provide resources for free members. There are some Blender files, some models, there are uh, all my references are free, so you can model, you know, against a reference. There are a number of, of items that are free, but with your membership, you're getting exclusive videos that, you know, I'm not going to post anywhere, but here for you as a patron. All right. So um, I would like to see you become a patron on the Zero Bio Patreon because I have a lot of things planned for you, and I would like you to get the benefit of those things. Um, in terms of where to find the videos for this series, for now, the video links are going to be provided in the Substance Painter videos collection. And, and right now, the, the collection uh, looks like this. All right, it's got the uncharted rings here, it says video tutorials, and the title is Substance Painter videos. And you would find the videos in there. And the first video, this video, is going to be in there in addition to being up, up on YouTube for everyone to see to invite you over to the Patreon and in the description of that video will be links to all the other videos. Um, of course not all the videos are completed yet we're just getting started with the series so as I progress through the series and through the course I will be uploading videos in a timely fashion until the course is completed and the model is fully textured so um, if you if you start with this video and you don't see part two yet don't panic Go ahead and become a patron, and a patron, and the videos will be coming uh, as we work on them. And you'll also be provided with an FBX that comes with your membership, and you'll be able to download the FBX of the model that we're actually going to use, so you can follow along with the course. If I find that you're interested in the course and uh, there are enough people that want to do it, I will consider another Simply Substance Painter where we'll go more in depth into other techniques and we'll use some of the same because you often use a lot of the same stuff, but we'll throw in a few extra things. We'll texture another model. So this is the project that you're going to be working on. It's a keychain kind of compass. This graphic that you see here may not necessarily be the final graphic, 
and these materials are probably going to be pretty close to what we're going to use but I'll show you how you could easily change them so this is going to be the end result I will provide the FBX for the model and then we'll texture it in Substance Painter together and you should get a result very similar to this if you can achieve this uh, there are a number of basic methods here that you can use on many other types of models, including the ones that I showed you previously, whether it be the scenes or the individual objects. So if we have a look here, there are a few different materials on here. I've got at least three different materials here. There are alphas on here, so we'll be doing some alpha work. We'll be looking into opacity, so we see opacity or transparency with the glass that's there. It's a little, maybe a little bit hard to see in that particular image, but we'll be dealing with that. We'll be adding patterns, so there is a, a pattern around here, around the glass. There's a pattern up here, and there's a different pattern here. In the past, as we maybe got into Blender and we saw textures like this we may have wondered how is this stuff done and, and how can we tackle this in geometry and of course that would just blow our poly sky high but we can now do it in substance painter it's very easy to do and there are numerous patterns that you can swap in and experiment with them and we'll do a little bit of that as well so we can try different things and uh, of course there will be a graphic so in addition to the fbx that i'll provide i'll actually give you the compass graphic so that you're all ready to go and you can just put it in the appropriate place in the appropriate part of the layer stack in substance painter and uh you know you can get the final result so there's nothing that you need to uh, get elsewhere i'll provide it um, and uh, I'll, I'll show you where you can find that uh, very easily uh, well, so we'll be looking at adding graphics to our models, whether they, you know, if you do it this way, you could be adding decals or, or um, you know, things like that. And we'll also be looking at uh, emissive. All right. And of course, we need to throw on some dirt and the dirt tends to accumulate in the crevices, similar to sort of ambient occlusion. So there's a little bit of dirt. I didn't go overboard with the dirt as we often tend to do in Substance Painter. And maybe that's something we should talk about as well. Uh, the judicious use of some of these um, generators and effects. All right, so those are the main things that we're going to be tackling. And so this course is really aimed at, at beginners in Substance Painter. And let's talk about the course overview so you can see what we're actually going to do. All right, we're going to start by importing an FBX. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So whether you came from another modeling program other than Blender, as long as you have an FBX, now we could work with OBJs, but we're going to use FBX and I'm going to provide that for you. So if you've, you've got the FBX and then you just follow the video, we'll look at importing the FBX into Substance Painter. We'll talk somewhat about the interface. Um, there's a lot to cover and some of the items in the interface are only available uh, in certain circumstances um, so we may not we're certainly not going to cover everything but we're going to cover the things that we are going to need in this project and if you like this course and you feel you learned something or it inspired you and you want more and you let me know or I get the sense that you want more then we can do another project and that might involve other aspects like I said we're going to expand and do some different techniques so that that could open up other parts of the interface that we wouldn't necessarily use in this course but we are going to use enough that you can get something like that keychain and really that uh, compass keychain and really many of the other individual objects that I model because we're dealing with materials and uh, uh, as you're going to see masks and filters and, and all of the same kind of stuff that we're doing here. All right, so once we've looked at the interface, we're going to bake the mesh maps for that compass FBX and I'll talk to you about my settings for that. And then we'll have a quick look at materials versus smart materials, uh, you know, which one to use and, and, and how they're different and maybe how you could uh, create your own smart material and save it. Uh, we'll see what we get, what we get through in this video, what's relative relative to the uh, to the model we're doing. We'll look at black versus white masks. We certainly will be using masks and we could use either one. So we'll talk about that. We, of course, will be adding patterns to certain parts of the model as opposed to just sort of flood filling the whole thing with a pattern, which we could do. 
um, we're going to be adding patterns to a specific part of the model and that's going to require well there's a couple of different ways to handle it but we're going to be using masks in order to determine where a pattern should go and where it should not go and we'll be doing some alpha details as well you saw some bolts on there um, and a few other uh, details it was that cross those bones there on the front that's that's a stock alpha that comes with substance painter um, and we could talk about a little bit about maybe the source of some alphas and stuff like that as well we'll see uh, we'll be using the blur filter so we'll talk about that there are many filters all right and and not all of them again are going to be uh, appropriate for this particular kind of model so we'll use the ones that are that are reasonable and these particular filters like the blur filter levels and the mask outline filter uh, you could use very frequently on your models um, there are a few others that you could use also very frequently and there are a few others that you only would use in a specific circumstance so again i'm tailoring what we're doing to our particular project rather than going over every filter of course we'll be using the dirt generator or adding dirt using smart masks we might look at the difference between them but we we will be adding some dirt and uh yeah and as well, we'll look at anchor points, uh, which is a, a method that is used in order to get the effects of a generator on things like height maps from the alpha details or normals that maybe would come in a little, look a little bit too clean and not sort of mesh with a dirty model. So uh, we'll talk about anchor points, whether it's a single anchor point, anchor point or, or multiple anchor points. Uh, we'll be adding a graphic. That's going to be that compass graphic. And we'll look at emissive and opacity. And then, of course, we'll have to talk about exporting the texture. So the, the uh, ex export uh, templates so that we can export them. I will be doing it for Blender. So there may be some differences if you're exporting for another software. And that's something that you may have to read up a little bit on. And then once we've exported the textures, we'll set it up in Blender so you can see the results on your model with all the textures done in Substance Painter. And so if you follow through all of this with me, then you should get a result that looks very similar to what I showed you previously, very similar to mine. Of course, you're welcome to experiment and I would encourage you to do that at some point as well. So I hope that you will consider joining the Patreon. There are a lot of resources, like I've said, uh, that are free. And there are also a number of resources just for patrons. So in addition to, to this course, uh, if you become a patron, of course, there are other Blender files and videos. So you've got models there. Um, you've got Blender videos. You've got Substance Painter files, videos, and, and other resources. And of course, I'm available for any personal support that you might need. You can uh, chat with me uh, on the Patreon, and I'm on there every day at least once or twice a day looking through to see if there are any questions or any problems uh, I don't mind if you email me and send an image of what you're working on if you're running into some trouble so uh, I'm there to help if I can and uh, I'm happy to do that so don't wait please make sure that you have subscribed to the YouTube channel the zero bio YouTube channel and that you become a member on the patreon uh, if you want to start off as a free member while you won't get the benefits of this course you can check out the other stuff you can download some models and you can say you know even if you know you get the space helmet you go I'm not really into space helmets but maybe you want to see how it was constructed or you want to modify it a bit just for inspiration you might see something and say you know what I know how to do this stuff, but I never would have thought of doing it that way. And then you have another technique in your arsenal of, of, of methods that you can use. So, you know, there might be just inspiration that you get rather than actual education. And that, I think that makes it worthwhile. Um, but uh, I do encourage you to become a patron and uh, I want to tailor a number of resources, including this course, the Simply Substance Painter course um, for you and to branch out and, and provide some other things, okay? I'm not saying stuff like, 
if you become a patron i will i will upload four videos per month and three models i'm not being specific that way because as you may know if you've been coming by the zero bio youtube channel i i work pretty diligently and pretty frequently on providing video tutorials on blender and substance painter there and i don't follow a particular schedule i just do it do it do it and i plan to do the same thing for the patreon and so instead of saying i'm going to do four videos you know one month i might have done 10 the next month i might have done three and then the next month i've done you know seven or something like that and that's just just how i work so uh there will be potentially tons of stuff so skip the three or four coffees become a member help support me and that will help me continue to do the free stuff here on youtube and the patreon stuff for you because that's what i love to do all right thanks so much for watching and i hope you'll come by and i look forward to seeing you in the course take care